My name is Matt Rees. I'm a PhD student from the University of Wollongong, uh, where I'm supervised by Andy Davis and co-supervised by Nathan Knott uh, from the Jervis Bay Marine Park. Uh, my PhD is looking at uh, fish habitat relationships and how we can use this information uh, to improve marine protected area design. So today uh, I would be running beta remote underwater video surveys. Uh, so deploying these underwater cameras uh, which look out upon a bait bag. Uh, this attracts fish in. Uh, then back in the lab we look through the footage and count the number and species of fish that we observe. I use that information to look at the relationship between habitat patterning and the fish assemblage and that information will then feed into designing uh, marine protected areas and predicting where certain uh, species of fish occur. Uh, my name is Lachlan Fetterplace, I'm at the University of Wollongong and I'm in collaboration with the New South Wales DPI. I'm looking at the ecology of soft sediment fishes and the implications of their ecology for management and marine park uh, design. I use two methods to look at uh, fish communities. One's baited remote underwater video where we drop videos down onto the seafloor in various locations and compare the communities that we find. And the other method is I uh, use acoustic uh, tracking. So that's putting tags in fish that give, lets you get a location of these fish so you can find out a bit about their behavior. Uh, the baited underwater cameras are a really good technique to survey uh, fish. That's because they offer a number of advantages compared to other methods. Uh, they're unobtrusive, so that's great for marine park studies. Uh, they also record a lot of cryptic and shy species. 90% of my research is on sand. It's a habitat that maybe isn't as sexy as coral reefs and uh, seagrass and temperate reefs and so it doesn't get looked at very often but it's actually the dominant hab habitat on this part of the coast. Uh, for example Jervis Bay Marine Park that we're sitting in now so out here pretty much everything you can see is sand with a, a, little, a few patches of reef and seagrass mixed in. So I've adapted the baited underwater video um, technique to sit in the midwater. So I've recorded a lot of pelagic fish in and around Jervis Bay. Uh, so I've recorded black marlin, yellow-tailed kingfish, Australian bonito, and a number of other pelagic species. I'm looking into uh, community dynamics. So I compare areas that are commercially fished to those that are recreationally fished and those areas that are no-take zones in marine protected areas where there's no fishing going on. And then I have, I'm trying to have a look at whether these populations differ, whether the communities differ, and if there's any differences between those areas. I'm looking at uh, how seascape patterning affects uh, fish assemblages. So. Uh, I'm interested in the patch shape and size of reefs, seagrass beds and looking at their connectivity and how that influences uh, fish distributions and fish abundance. So the other part of my research is looking, really looking at fish behaviour, so the movement of fishes and to do that we put acoustic tags in them and follow their movement using a these receivers that we put out in, in the water. And in Jervis Bay Marine Park, the DPI has set up a really world-class array. I think there's value in protecting uh, certain areas of the coastline, uh, removing them from uh, threats that humans pose. Well, personally, I love fishing. I want there to be fish there that I can catch all the time, so maybe it's a little bit selfish, but that's what I want. And I. I like learning about fish, fisheries and the outdoors. So I like being out here. I know there's lots more to learn and I think that it's a valuable area to study. So I like doing it.